what we're going to show to you guys, it's actually starting with using the scene that we have. We're going to add one light. So you guys just use this scene and we do that. Mm. Then we can add a second light. Then we can add color. We can also slow the shutter down. We can maybe play with some light trails if you want to play with that. Let's try complementary color palette. Let's see if that works. Give more extra punch. Give this like hollow-ish sort of orange vs blue. Does it make sense? So they have a hedge S. Hue, saturation, and luminance. It's exactly the same color model as what you see on Photoshop. In Photoshop, 360 or zero is going to be red. When you go all the way to around about 40, it's going to be what, orange. It's the perfect light for sunset. Does it make sense? So sunset, golden hours. And when you go all the way up, <coughs> What's after yellow? Green, yeah? That's green. That's what? That's the color of leaves. This is almost from autumn all the way to spring. Does it make sense? Uh, so here, before I set up any lights, I would just uh, adjust the camera settings to make sure I kill all the ambient. Uh, so after the camera setting works, uh, I start to add lights. The key here is um, not add all the lights at the same time, just do one light by one light. Um, I started with the flash. I use Godox V1 and um, the output is a quarter plus 0.3 stop. So here is a very sharp image um, phrased by Godox V1. The key here is to use long exposure, which I use 1.6 seconds. That would allow us to add in motion blur by using Godox R1 um, in this image. Uh, notice because I set up the V1 uh, with a half CTO gel to deliver orange color. So I use R1 with a blue color um, to make and complementary color palette. Uh, so here is the fun part. We try to experiment around to change the movement of the camera uh, by changing the direction as well as the, um, the speed. Uh, to generate different shape of the uh, motion blur. Uh, it's more a uh, try and error sort of fun time. And uh, if you are using uh, zoom lens, um, you can also try to zoom in or zoom out. That would be fun too.